Have you ever seen a Sumiko Gurashi squishy maker? I found one. Don't wait for tomorrow. It's Dr. Squish. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, you know that I have my own squishy maker. Here it is. You've seen me use this a lot on all of my different socials and uh, even on here. But what about different squishy makers? Are other people making squishy makers? I found the Sumiko Gurashi Pao Cham squishy maker. So this is making a different kind of squishy. My squishy maker makes stress balls, all different sizes of stress balls. This is making pouch charms is what it says. It's actually like a little play on words. Pouchy is how you say pouch in Japanese and charm, pouch and charm, pow charm, <laughs> pouch charms. It almost looks like candy, but you're gonna, we're gonna put slime and stuff in there. I'm really excited. I have never seen a squishy maker like this. It's so different than the Dr. Squish squishy maker. So I'm really excited to make Sumiko Gurashi pouch charm squishies. Okay, so this is actually a Japanese squishy making kit. It's by a company called Beverly, which I don't think I've ever had a Japanese toy from this company before. Um, it says we can make 15 charms. And like I said, it says pao cham. This is the word for pouch, pouchi. And this is the word for charm, chamu. So they kind of put it together, pao cham. Uh, and this is Sumiko Gurashi. I love Sumiko Gurashi. They're so cute. Shirokuma, Neko, Penguin. Uh, tokage and tonkatsu and ebi fry. So cute. And it looks like we're going to be making like, like I said, little candy pouches almost. Okay. So I am seeing, oh, these are like, <laughs> it's like they cut mini pool noodles. Okay. These are pom-poms. I love these little miniature pom-poms and three pouches of different colors of bingzu beads. So these are all of the little pouches that we're going to put. Oh, they're open on all sides. <laughs> okay. This is intimidating. Uh, they're so cute. Peach candy, orange candy. Oh, so cute. We have pineapple candy. That's freaking adorable. Cherry candy. Guys, these are stinking adorable. So you can make 15 different pouches. That's actually really good for a candy kit. And then there's blank ones. So you don't have to do Sumiko Gurashi. I guess these are to reinforce this so that the ball chain doesn't just pull right off. All right, it looks like this is our little heat sealer. The box just says Paucha Mega. Okay, here's our instructions. Oh my goodness, that was not what I was expecting. This is our slime and it says made in Korea. This is also interesting. All right, let's check the slime out. Interesting. Oh, it is really thick. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. I have never felt slime like this. It's really soft, but it's also really springy. I mean, it's not hard, like putty. I can't even tear. This is interesting. I don't know what they made this out of. This does not feel like PVA glue slime. I don't, it's very nice. I just never felt clear slime like that. All right, let's go see how we make pouch arms. Okay, so this actually looks fairly simple. It's exactly what I thought. We're gonna use this to kind of seal the sides of the pouches, seal the sides, put stuff in, seal the top, and you got a little squishy. The cutest thing about these instructions is it gives you little recipes on how to make things. This one says peach candy, and so it tells you how they made this adorable peach candy one. Uh, but all of these are really cute. I don't guess you have to follow their stuff. It also gives you some pointers here, like don't fill it too much. And it even gives you a little measurement of how much slime. That is not a lot of slime, so you're not supposed to use a lot of slime in these little pouches. I think I'm going to start with this grape candy one. That is really adorable to me. It's time to stop the show and ask you to please subscribe to Dr. Squish if you have not done so. And if you unsubscribe, please subscribe back. I will try to do better. Okay. So I have my little pouch. I'm going to try and seal the edges. So supposedly all you have to do is hold it down. And when you push down here, can you see the little light come on? And you just hold it down until the light goes off. I'll see if that works. All right. Oh, it's got a stopper, so there's no way to mess it up. <laughs> okay. I am going to stick this in. All right, I'm going to push down and wait until the light goes off. Okay, that was about 20 seconds, and it looks like it's sealed. I don't know how hot it is. Okay, it's not too hot. Let me see. Let me see here. Oh, it is sealed. I mean, I could probably tear it, but it's definitely sealed, right? Like, that is a, that's a seal. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. Here we go. Pressing down. 
20 seconds. I don't, I can't even mess it up because I don't even have to count 20. Like the light goes off at exactly 20 seconds and it's <laughs> sealed and I can't screw it up. All right. Okay, I'm so excited. Now for the slime. So in the one that they made, which obviously I can do whatever I want, they put clear slime, the little bingzu beads that are kind of white, and these they just actually pulled out the purple pool noodles and put it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, just a little of that slime. Oh, it is so hard to, to tear off. I've never seen slime like this in my life. Eh, I That actually may be too much. I mean, it's not a big pouch and it says not to overfill it and I get it. Okay, I think that's too much. So weird. Okay. <laughs> there, that's about the right amount. Bing zoo beads. Here's a scoop. Like this. This is such interesting slime. It feels like a mixture between slime and putty. I'm just gonna get out a few of the purple ones and it really specifically says don't put too much in there. One, two, three. That's how many they have in the picture. So that's what I'm going with too. I mean, in my opinion, that doesn't look like enough, but I know me, I will overdo it and screw up my squishy. So let's go ahead and try and put, I mean, yeah, they're not wrong. That's about all you can fit in there. Get in there. All right. Okay, you guys. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, let's seal it. Okay, that was it. Okay, here's my first Sumiko Gurashi pouch charm squishy. That is darn cute. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's a hole right there because there's air squishing out of it. I can probably seal it again. It's really neat. You guys, that's so cute. Let's put a ball chain on it. Okay, you guys look at my bag charm. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So this is just a tiny little squishy. I really do kind of want to reseal this side here. No, okay, I want to try that. I think that sealed it all the way to the edge. So it was actually kind of a good thing because one of the steps was to squish all the air out and I had forgotten to do that. So that kind of let me get all the air out, but you're supposed to get all the air out and make sure that that's sealed, which it wasn't for me. So now it is. Now it's perfect, you guys. Look, what do you think? I think it's really, really cute. Uh, I mean, I think this is a brilliant little squishy maker. So cute. It's simple and it was really easy and I've never had a squishy maker like this. 10 of 10, I love it, that's so cool. All right, which one do I wanna make next? There were so many cute ones in here. Yes, you know I'm gonna do this one. This one's called cotton candy, cotton candy. So let's do the cotton candy one. Here is the pouch that was used for the cotton candy one. You can see they're eating little Sumiko Gurashi cotton candy. That's so cute, oh my gosh. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try and make sure I get the edges all sealed properly. I feel like maybe I didn't push down with enough firm pressure on that outside edge. All right, first side definitely, it definitely went all the way to the edges like it's supposed to. So let's do the other side. So where did I get this from? Uh, you can, I think, order this from maybe amazon.jp, but I feel like they were sold out when I went to look for it. I found it on eBay. Um, it did actually come from Japan. It was on a regular eBay, so. If you can find it, I think this is a really neat kit. Okay, the edges are sealed. So exciting. <laughs> it's so silly. Let's get the slime. And it says to use the blue Bingzu beads this time. I'm gonna do a scoop of the beads. All right, and it looks like the pom-poms, but only the pink and blue pom-poms. So I want a couple of the pink ones and then some of the light blue. Oh yeah, there's lighter pink that it wants me to use. There, gorgeous. This is a really exciting craft kit for me. I've never seen this. Kind of the hard part is keeping this open while I shove the slime in it. <gasps> Look how cute that is, oh my gosh. <laughs> so silly, all right. Now this time I am gonna get the air out first. Last time I forgot that step and only was able to get it out because it had a hole in it, all right. It's actually not hard, just never having done this before. It's a bit fiddly for me. Okay, I think it's sealed. Yeah, I can see it's sealed. This is so neat. Look how cute this squishy is. Oh my gosh, and it says Sumiko Gurashi Tapioca Park. All the little tapiocas are there. Oh, I do love this. I love, it's good. It's so cute. And there we go. I have an adorable bag charm, pouch charm. Oh, I don't know which one I like the best. These, this is hard, hard to choose. I think I wanna do this one. This one is the, it says pop candy. 
which is cute. So pop candy, let's do this one. Let's find it. Okay, here it is. It's, it says pop candy, which is funny because they all look like they're at a diner to me. They have like diner food. And it says, welcome to our diner. Sumiko Gurashi Shippo's diner. I don't know why this one specifically is pop candy. So let's go ahead and iron the sheet. There we go, one side done. And it doesn't take any time. This this is on and off and this is timer. I think one is 15 seconds and two is exactly 20 seconds. So it takes exactly one minute to heat all these things up and nice. And even though this one doesn't show it, I'm gonna put a few different things in here. Slime, I just wanted to do one of every color with the beads. That's all I was going for. Yellow beads. Okay, we got the yellow beads, pool noodles, but I'm also going to put in a couple of the pom-poms as well. Pop candy, I don't know why, but that's what it says it is. Okay, let's get this in the bag. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Let's seal the top. I'm gonna make sure and get all the air out. Here we go. And it's done. Okay, uh, this one is really cute too. I wish I had <laughs> squished things in there a little bit in a better place. I can't really see the pink pool noodle. <gasps> Look, it's so cute. Okay. And there we go. There is the pop candy <laughs> uh, pouch charm. It's really I don't know which one I like the best of the three that I made today. So here is the grape candy one. I love the colors of this one. Here is the cotton candy one. And here is the pop candy one. I don't, I didn't end up loving this one like I hoped I would. <laughs> I had high hopes. It didn't end up my favorite. Uh, but I do think probably the cotton candy is my favorite today, but there's so much left. There's so many of these, so much slime. So many pom-poms, like there's a lot of slime in here left. This was really, really neat. I, I think this turned out amazing. I'm really impressed with this machine. It's so simple and it makes the cutest little little charm. Okay, so I need some conversation. Let me know what you thought of the Beverly Sumiko Gurashi pouch charm squishy maker. That is a mouthful. I made the cutest squishies. Here is the grape candy one. You can see the super cute squishy slime in the back. I like that one. Here's my cotton candy one. I think this one is my favorite just because you can see all of the Sumiko Gurashi really well. Here's super cute cotton candy slime and pom-poms. And then here is the pop candy one. This one probably is my least favorite. It's really hard to see the Sumiko Gurashi uh, down there. It, it, it kind of clashes with everything. But I want to hear from you. Do you think that this was worth it? I actually think this thing is really neat. It gets the Dr. Squish seal of squishy approval. Uh, 10 of 10 in my opinion. This was fun and easy to do and it makes cute little little squishy. So yeah, I, I really had a good time doing this today, but I want to hear from you if you think it was worth getting and if you like these kind of pouch charm squishies. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Dr. Squish and I will see you on the next show. Bye-bye squishy fans.